Welcome to the Digital Edge with Sharon Nelson and Jim Calloway. Your hosts, both legal technologists, authors, and lecturers, invite industry professionals to discuss a new topic related to lawyers and technology. You're listening to Legal Talk Network. Welcome to the 108th edition of the Digital Edge Lawyers and Technology. We're glad to have you with us. I'm Sharon Nelson, president of Sensei Enterprises. And I'm Jim Calloway, director of the Oklahoma Bar Association's Management Assistance Program. Today, we are doing our favorite podcast of the year, Tech Toys for the Holidays, in which Sharon and I offer up some of our favorite tech toys, some serious, some not so serious. Before we get started, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Thank you to Answer One, a leading virtual receptionist and answering service provider for lawyers. You can find out more by giving them a call at 800 Answer the Number One or online at www.answerthenumberone.com. Thanks to our sponsor, Scorpion, which delivers award winning law firm web design and online marketing programs to get you more cases. Scorpion has helped thousands of law firms just like yours attract new cases and grow their practices. For more information, visit scorpionlegal.com slash podcast. Thanks to CloudMask, which offers cost-effective and efficient data encryption for law firms, whether large or small, in Google Apps, Office 365, and other cloud solutions. Sign up now for your 60-day free account at www.cloudmask.com. Thanks to ServeNow, a nationwide network of trusted, pre-screened process servers. Work with the most professional process servers who have experience with high-volume serves, embrace technology, and understand the litigation process. Visit ServeNow.com to learn more. And Jim, away we go, and I think you're up first. Well, I have to confess to our listeners that I've just given up on anything that's uh, business-friendly, and I'm going totally family-friendly this year. I've already been shopping and noticed that we see an enormous amount of Christmas lights, cameras, and other items that are all what we might call the Internet of Things. And Sharon and I would like to remind all of you that everything that you buy for your home that connects to your Wi-Fi network is a potential security breach. In fact, the last denial of service attack we saw was actually done by infecting a bunch of webcams all across the country. But having said that, Sharon, let me dive right in with the Samsung Family Hub Refrigerator. I assume If you're going to spend something for the Internet of Things, you should buy something expensive. And this refrigerator has a built-in camera for food management within the refrigerator and automatic online grocery reordering. It has a nice screen on the front where you can put notes for the family. You can even stream video to it or play your TV through it. And we hope that these bigger devices have security. And Samsung has really made their claim to fame with the Note 7. We'll just hope this refrigerator doesn't (laughs) burst into flame for the holidays. (laughs) And that's why you have a fire extinguisher in your kitchen. (laughs) There you have it. (laughs) Okay, let's move on to the IBM Model M keyboards, which are available from clickykeyboards.com from anywhere from $190 to $350. And why are these IBM Model M keyboards still popular after 25 years? It's because the new keyboards are treated kind of as an afterthought. They've dropped in quality as the price of a PC has gone down, and keyboards are really just a short-term commodity item. So really, a lot of computer products pros prefer professional grade tools. So even the Wall Street Journal said, if you have a passion for the keys, relax, you're not alone. So one reviewer says the tactile feedback that I get when I type feels very firm when I press one of the keys and I can clearly feel the keys snap back after pressing them. The clicking sounds that they love is because that there's a buckling spring, which I never knew. It's a mechanism where the spring buckles under the pressure from your finger until a lever hits a sheet below. This not only provides that reassuring sound, but ensures that the user knows that they've actually
actually hit the key. But now they don't use that method because, of course, it's more expensive. So now they have a rubber dome where the little sticks on the underside of the keys press down on rubber domes laid on a plastic underlay. This is why you don't hear so much clickety-clack in offices these days. So if you miss that clickety-clack, you can get it back. And now you know how. That's great, as long as you don't buckle under the holiday pressure while you're doing <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad fun. <laughs> Continuing with my family friendly theme, the next toy is a thermometer, the thermo thermometer. And basically, this is a very fancy thermometer that sweeps across the forehead rather than the other ways we've taken temperature in the past. It has 16 infrared sensors that take over 4,000 measurements to find the exact temperature of the patient. They call it hotspot sensor, trademarked, of course, technology. The thermo thermometer for only a mere $99.95. Such a bargain. But I have an even better bargain, Jim. I have Nintendo's NES console. Nintendo, which has seen its market just soar thanks to Pokemon Go, has relaunched its iconic NES console. And the classic edition has been going for $59.99 at Walmart. It comes with 30 games pre-installed, including classics that you and I are certainly old enough to remember, like <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, The Legend of Zelda, Punch-Out!, Final Fantasy, Donkey Kong, Bubble Bobble, and more. It's a little bit smaller than the original model. It's called a mini replica by Nintendo, but it does come with an HDMI cable to keep up with the times. Honestly, your bi biggest problem might be finding it. Reportedly, demand has so far outstripped stock that many places no longer have it available. I don't know whether they'll get it in in time for Christmas, but it's certainly worth checking. That's a great toy. Games that dad or granddad can actually play. <laughs> Or grandma. <laughs> From four moms, the self-installing car seat. Now, the thrifty among you might ask, why would I want to spend $499.99 for a car seat? But the statistics are amazing on the number of people that inappropriately install car seats. In fact, some people say the majority. This car seat installs itself. It tightens everything with the seat belts so that it's perfectly in tension. It has an app that lets you know if for some reason the little booger in the back seat managed to unstrap the car seat <laughs> or it gets out of alignment. So for the person that has everything, a $500 self-installing car seat. <laughs> Yeah, that's that, you're not going to find too many of those under the tree, but it sounds like a great device. So I stuck partially with business and partially went off the range, which is okay. But in the business department, I really want to push the Microsoft Surface Pro 4, which really is a laptop replacement. It's light enough to take it anywhere and powerful enough to use it as a full desktop workstation. In fact, it's 50% faster than a MacBook Air. I've taken mine to Europe for a couple of weeks, never noticed that I didn't have something else that I needed. Um, it starts at $8.99. You're going to want to probably get more power than that and get more speed than that. But we've started to see these things uh, deployed in law firms firm-wide. It's better than the Surface Book. It's cheaper. It's lighter. It has a new pen that attaches magnetically. Windows 10 is installed. Uh, it really is a, a power horse machine, and a lot of people now are just buying the Surface Pro 4, and they're just carting that to home and to work again and, and docking it and working from there with multiple monitors and a full-size keyboard. And it's really a pretty sweet thing. So that's a good gift for a lawyer to give themselves. I've actually had several lawyers inquire about those. I think they're uh, pretty great machines. My next toy is the Nano Leaf Aurora. It's $199, and it is a set of triangular-shaped lights that snap together. You can use them to make all sorts of different designs on your desk or on your wall or wherever you want to. Another Internet of Things item, but I actually confirmed this with the company on their tech support call because I knew your husband, John Simic, would like <laughs> this one. There are actually two ways you can use this without hooking into your Wi-Fi network. One is there's a button that gives you a few of the many different patterns that it'll play. But the other one is it will actually do a hotspot emulator where you can use your cell phone as a remote control, but it doesn't hook up to your Wi-Fi network. Of course, if you want all the whistles and bells, the heck with security, hook it up to your Wi-Fi network. <laughs> and, and does this just do designs on the wall, Jim? 
it's basically a whole bunch of different colored lights, but they're flat. And so the, it does many designs, but they're multicolored. So it does the shimmering changing of the lights. Is this for our 80s disco CDs? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. See, I, I'm, I'm being a lot more serious because my next tip or my next toy is really not a toy. It's the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge, which were released on March the 11th. The micro SD card is back, so you've got more storage. The battery life is really sweet. I mean, I can use my phone normally not obsessively, but I can use it in a normal way all day long, you know, not streaming movies or videos constantly. Um, and the battery easily lasts a day. So when I'm at the airport, I don't have to be one of the Apple people looking desperately for chargers. You still can't remove the battery, which I don't like, but it's water resistant. And I really like the always on display. You can decide what you want to have on the always on display, and it doesn't really seem to drain the battery. The cost starts at 672 from the carrier's for the S7 and 792 for the Edge. And I was lucky because they made an error in my order. And therefore, they made it up to me by giving me gratis a gorgeous black and gold Kate Spade case for the phone. So as they say in the soccer world, score. Well, that's awesome. I have to say you're convincing me I may need to uh, look over to the uh, Android side one of these days. For the forfeited members of the family, and Sharon, I know you enjoy those, we have the <laughs> Pet Cube. Pet Cube comes in two versions the Pet Cube Play for $199 and the Pet Cube Camera for $149. What the Pet Cube Play does is essentially it's a camera and it's also a remote controlled laser pointer. So you can exercise and play with your pets while you're working late in the office. <laughs> the Pet Camera allows you to take pictures of the pets. So again, the lawyers who put in a lot of time don't have to abandon the four-footed members of the family. But I have to throw in, there's even another pet toy, the Pet Bot. PetBot allows you to train your animal to take selfies that are then emailed to you, and they will be rewarded with a treat. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> I want to see the pictures that you take of the pet, the pet takes of you, etc. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> we'll see if we can train Jim on this. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, my next toy is a toy slash work device, and that's the um, Propera Prep Adjustable Reader, available from Amazon for $24.99. I want to call your attention to the fact that this thing gets 4.8 out of 5 stars, and it's got about 300 reviews. So that's a very high rating. And really what it is, is it's an adjustable reader that sits up on, on a counter or table, and it fits all the popular tablets, e-readers, cell phones, etc. I'm not going to go through the whole list, but you know, I use it primarily for my iPad, but it'll hold them all. So your tablet is now supported hands-free. It's at a comfortable angle, so it's easy for you on the go or at home to access work. You notice I mentioned work or sports or YouTube or Netflix, iTunes, videos, etc. And of course, there's FaceTime as well, which is one reason why I got it. It's really a very good thing. It's got a five-year warranty. I have friends, a lot of friends, that use it primarily primarily to access recipes from their devices when they cook. But I got it because my granddaughter was anxious for me to, to have this because she says, when I talk to you on the phone, I can't see you, Grandma. So, okay, Lily, Grandma has that problem fixed. Well, we've got a stand now, and we will talk on FaceTime, and you can see me. I have to add, Sharon, that I looked at this uh, online when you shared your toys with me in advance, and this really looks awesome. I think this may end up under the Callaway Christmas tree. There you go. There you go. You're not the only one who said that. Yeah, other people have said that, too. Well, so the stands built in the iPads just don't work as well as these third-party stands, in my view. Yeah, this has a lot of stability. I mean, you'd really have to whack the heck out of this one to knock it over. Okay, Sharon, in this day of heightened surveillance, because we don't have enough people eavesdropping on us, <laughs> I want to talk about two different toys. First of all, the Amazon Echo Dot. For only $50, this is a great savings off the uh, normal price, I think $179 for the Amazon Echo. And really, the trade-off is it's a lot smaller, and the speakers aren't nearly as good as with the uh, Amazon Echo. But then new to this Christmas season, particularly useful for those of you who are using Google Assistant, is Google Home. The uh, Google Home device is really a, a nice-looking little device. It costs 99 uh, I'm sorry, $129. And if you use Google Assistant, I've 
I've told by a few people that already have these that it's really super. So you can have OK Google and Hey Alexa in the same sentence and see who answers first. <laughs> Oh, my heavens. I, I'm certainly not going to talk to John Simic about buying one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after hearing from our friend Craig Ball that all his inquiries to Amazon Echo were retrievable for a two-year period, including the ambient sounds in the room when he was asking his questions. There you go. P- privacy. It was a 20th century concept. <laughs> it was a 20th century concept. Gone now. Okay, so my, my next toy slash, this, this could be useful for a lawyer. It's, a, it's called Sensor Wake. It's an olfactory alarm clock. And yes, if you've forgotten your words from long ago, olfactory does mean your nose and your, your sense of smell. And that's not as strong for us as it is for those dogs. But this clock will gradually awaken you from your sleep using increasingly pleasant scents. And progressively within two minutes, your sense of smell will get you out of bed. That's the theory. And in case you really are tired, there's backup music that will come on and that will sure get you out of bed. So they have the kind of smells that they have are seaside croissant, which I thought was very, very weird. Toast, which never struck me as a thing to wake up to. Espresso, this one I get. Chocolate, peppermint, and grass, which I thought was weird. But on behalf of my friend Randy Yipe, our friend, you Randy Yipe, I want to ask, what? No bacon? <laughs> uh, you know, if Randy listens, he'll appreciate that. I'm sure he will. Let's pause now for a commercial break. Is your firm experiencing missed calls, empty voicemail boxes, and potential clients you'll never hear from again? Enter Answer One Virtual Receptionists. They're more than just an answering service. Answer One is available 24 7. They can even schedule appointments, respond to emails, integrate with Clio, and much more. Answer One helps make sure your clients have the experience they deserve. Give them a call at 1 800 Answer One or visit them at answerone.com forward slash podcast for a special offer. Not getting enough cases from the internet? The kind of cases you want? Scorpion can help. Over the last 15 years, Scorpion has helped thousands of law firms just like yours attract new cases and grow their practices. During this time, Scorpion has won over 100 awards for its law firm website design and online marketing success. Join the thousands of law firms which partner with Scorpion and start getting more cases today. For more information, visit scorpionlegal.com forward slash podcast. Looking for a process server you can trust? ServeNow.com is a nationwide network of local pre-screened process servers. ServeNow works with the most professional process servers in the country. Connect your firm with process servers who embrace technology, have experience with high volume serves, and understand the litigation process and the rules of properly effectuating service. Find a pre-screened process server today. Visit ServeNow.com. In recent years, the legal sector has come under increasing pressure to improve efficiency and client services. CloudMask enables law firms and solo attorneys to leverage free and low-cost software as a service, such as Google Apps and Office 365, to improve efficiency and client service while reducing costs, strengthening compliance with data privacy laws, and ensuring that legal ethical duties are met. Cloud Mask Encryption is even certified by 26 governments around the world. Sign up now for your 60-day free account at cloudmask.com. Welcome back to the Digital Edge on the Legal Talk Network. Today, our subject is tech toys for the holidays, and Jim and I are ready with everything but the spiked eggnog. Our next tech toy is called Hudway Glass. HUD stands for Heads Up Display. This is the uh, display like fighter pilots use, so they don't have to look away from the windshield. It actually shows things on the uh, glass. And many cars are coming out with this now in the uh, Jim Calloway Can't Afford Them class. (laughs) That's a mighty big class. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. (laughs) 
But for only $79.95, the Hudway Glass is essentially a holder for your phone, and you put in apps in your phone, and then you leave this on the dash, and it has a sheet of transparent glass the size of the phone, and it shows your GPS coordinates, or if you just want to see the roadway in front of you, like when it's raining or foggy or hard to see, it's a really nifty tool when you play the video. And so uh, I think we're going to try this just to see uh, if it works as good as the video on the uh, website does. But hudwayglass.com. Okay, that does sound good. I might consider that one for John. Now, my next one is a tip that is not for me at all. This is a testament to the fact that I have grandsons who are getting getting older, and they love football and basketball. So the Wilson 10 Connected Football and Basketball are both available on Amazon. It looks like the basketball is only available uh, from outside sellers, but be aware that it looks like you can get it from about $122 and up. And what it does is it's the first smart ball that puts you in the game and tracks your shots on any court with a secure net. It allows you to hit the winning shot in buzzer beater mode, and it has four game modes. It has ball and app track field goal percentage and range, so you know where you're automatically good and where you're not so hot. Works on any regulation 10 foot hoop with a net so it's it it sounds pretty cool i guess if you like that stuff and then it has the connected football and that one is 139.99 available from amazon paired with the wilson 10 app on any smart device and it kind of transforms how you play the game because it tracks completed passes in addition to velocity spin distance spiral efficiency etc the ball's embedded smart sensor is bluetooth enabled with a non-rechargeable battery good for 200,000 throws. I'd be dead after 100, but that ought to work you for a while. And it works on any Android or Apple device, so it's the first connected football of the NFL. Well, continuing on in the athletic mode, the Hellas washable headphones from Urban Ears. The people who exercise in their headphones with music sometimes complain of an order. How would you like to have a set of washable headphones? Well, the electronics obviously aren't washable, but these headphones come with a removable cloth covering you can toss in the washer so your headphones will not become gym sock capable. (laughs) For those people who have sweaty ears. (laughs) And sweaty brows. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. (laughs) All right. And I'm on to Anki's Cosmo Robot. And that is $179.99 available from Amazon. It's a real life robot like you've seen in the movies with its own kind of personality. It expresses emotions in response to your actions. It requires a free app and the processing power of your compatible mobile phone or tablet to access high level robotic functions that kind of bring Cosmo to life. The more you play, the more you get new games and upgrades are unlocked. They say durability and security have been rigorously tested, although not by John Simic. So I I take that with a grain of salt. And I tried not to choke when I read that sentence, because as you're right, we've seen so many Internet of Things devices, Jim, that have not been secure. But that's what they say. So it sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Well, my final tech toy, I I have to confess, I gave into temptation, and this is on Kickstarter. It's not ready for Christmas just yet, but if these people could deliver the promise of this device for only $149, I believe that they will be healthy, wealthy, and wise. The (laughs) smart remote from 7hugs.com. It's a universal remote control like we all now have in our homes, but it has one big difference. You point it at your device and it automatically pairs with it. No need to put in codes or all of the pairing uh, rituals that we go through to make our multifunction remotes work. So if you guys pull this off, I will be buying one. (laughs) Ditto that. And my last toy is Chip, the smart and lovable robot dog, uh, available on Amazon from Wowie, uh, and the price is $152.99. You know, I have two dogs. Jim, you know how I love dogs, but I'll tell you what, real dogs need to go to the bathroom at 3 in the morning and tell their owners they need to go out. They don't do this by themselves. They also, and this is kind of the fall season around here, they eat fall leaves and they barf in the middle of the night, usually on the good carpet. So I'm liking Chip already. (laughs) 
I'm not trading in my own guys, but I'm liking Chip. He is a smart, affectionate, trainable robot dog, and he responds to you through touch. He has an included smart band and a Chip app. The smart band allows Chip to recognize and follow you, which I thought was pretty cool. And Chip can also play fetch with the smart ball and bring it back to you, which is also pretty neat. And when it's low on the battery, Chip automatically returns to his smart bed to recharge. Heck, I can't even get my husband to do that. (laughs) He, he, He sounds like a great thing. So Chip sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like kids and adults alike could have a lot of enjoyment out of Chip. So I think that concludes all of our holiday tech tips. But I think that I certainly want to say to our listeners, Jim, that we appreciate them. I appreciate and I know you do how many folks come up every time you and I speak and say, oh, I listen to your podcast all the the time. I really love Digital Edge. Uh, It's really cool that that happens. And that's a special gift to us. Well, I totally agree with that, and you're right. It is amazing how many people stop me when I go visit other state bar association meetings and talk about listening to the Digital Edge. So uh, on behalf of Sharon and myself, we certainly want to wish all of you happy holidays and great success in the coming year. And that does it for this edition of the Digital Edge Lawyers in Technology. And remember, you can subscribe to all the editions of this podcast at LegalTalkNetwork.com or on iTunes. And if you enjoyed our podcast, please rate us on iTunes. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye, Miss Sharon. Happy trails, cowboy. Thanks for listening to The Digital Edge, produced by the broadcast professionals at Legal Talk Network. Join Sharon Nelson and Jim Calloway for their next podcast covering the latest topic related to lawyers and technology. Subscribe to the RSS feed on LegalTalkNetwork.com or in iTunes. The views expressed by the participants of this program are their own and do not represent the views of, nor are they endorsed by, Legal Talk Network, its officers, directors, employees, agents, representatives, shareholders, and subsidiaries. None of the content should be considered legal advice. As always, consult a lawyer.